Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. As you saw from the title, apparently it is National Drink Wine Day today. Which when I told my husband, he said, isn't that like happening way too often? And I think he's correct. But I think it's because there are multiple days where we celebrate wine. Okay, but if you just Google National Wine Day 2022, the first thing that pops up is February 18th. That's today. There are 17 National Wine Days. Oh, fun. Okay, February 16th, International Syrah Day. February 18th, Global Drink Wine Day. Apparently also National Drink Wine Day. March 3rd is National Mold Wine Day. March 13th is International Riesling Day. April 17th is International Malbec Day. It goes on and on and on. So yes, there are a lot of wine days. This is the Drink Wine Day. I also was looking at Homes and Zillow. Do you ever do that? Um, it's super fun to like put a million dollars as the minimum price and just see these crazy expensive homes. Anyway, there's a town we really love in Washington called Port Townsend, and there are a ton of Victorian homes there. And right now there's one that's been on the market for almost a year now. Um, it's 1.5 million, which is pretty reasonable if you listen to the rest of this. It's 11 bedrooms, 10 baths. Uh, you can see the ocean, you can see the Olympic Mountains. Absolutely gorgeous. Comes with most of the antique furniture. Blake is almost certain that part of the deal in buying that house is one of the rooms um, sucks the life out of you and, and curses your family. And that's why it's so inexpensive. But um, I don't know. It's this cute pink Victorian home. So I bought rosé to celebrate and I'm wearing like crazy pink eyeshadow, if you can see that. Sorry, the hat is uh, making a weird shadow on my face. Apologies, but I wanted to wear a hat. Okay, so today we are comparing rosé for National Drink Wine Day. I like the way that sounds. And I just got both of these at our local grocery store. Um, this one is a uh, Louis Jadot Rosé from 2016. This one is called It's a Head Snapper. It is a California Rosé. Yeah, let's start with this one. They're both um, the Twisty Caps. I forget what that's called. Anyway, some people look down on those. They prefer a traditional cork. But the Twisty Caps are actually much more eco-friendly and they keep the wine just as fresh. So you just don't have a cork to smell, I guess, would be the thing. So do, do, do. this says there are a number of reasons why you might do a double take, but when it comes down to it, it's what's inside the bottle that counts. Bright and fresh, our rosé expresses aromas of wild roses, flavors of honeysuckle, watermelon, and red berries, and concludes with a delightfully crisp and clean finish. Well, that sounds wonderful. And this one is 13% ABV. Let's check it out. not picking up anything like particularly interesting. All rosé tends to smell the same to me. But I did want to see the legs. Which I can't in this light. Come on, show me your legs. I can't, I can't see. Oh well, darn. Well, let's try it. I do taste watermelon and honeysuckle. Hmm. It's very rich for a rosé. It's, it kind of reminds me, you know how Chardonnays have like that vanilla finish a lot of times? I'm getting that. Not necessarily vanilla, but that kind of smoothness, that warmness.
Oh, I like that a lot. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I poured myself way too big a pour. Oh well. It's so good. I love it. Oh, now I can see the legs. Yep, that's about what I would expect. They're pretty thick. Rosés tend to be pretty sweet. Not as sweet as like a Moscato, of course, but pretty sweet. This one is indeed from France, and hopefully I pronounced the name correctly, but it says that it is a lively rosé wine from a selection of grapes from the great Burgundy region, which is why there's wine called Burgundy, because it's from that region of France. Uh, flavor, this one is dry, light, fresh, and fruity. It says to serve chilled as an aperitif or with salads, pasta dishes, grilled fish, cold meats. Cold meats. Hmm. All right, and this one is 12% ABV. <clears throat> oh, yeah, so this one's 2016. What's this one? Did it say the year? It doesn't say the year. That's interesting. I can't remember the last time I bought a wine that didn't have the year on it. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure how much a rosé would improve with age, but. Okay, this one is a bit of a lighter color. I don't know if that is coming through on the camera, but it's a bit lighter. And despite having a, a lower alcohol content, this one has more of an alcohol smell to it. That's really interesting. Oh, mm. nope. What am I even tasting? <coughs> uh, uh-uh. Dry, light, fresh, and fruity. <clears throat> Tastes more like dry, light, dirty, and footy. It's, it's got a real funk to it, real musk. Uh, no, I am not a fan of that. All right, well, <clears throat> we have a clear winner. <laughs> it's a head snapper <laughs> is the clear winner. I'd give this, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd give the Louis Jadot a one out of five. Um, it's a head snapper, solid four and a half out of five. Yeah, I would buy that again. All right, guys. Well, like, subscribe, share with your friends, uh, comment down below what your favorite wine is, if you're a wine drinker. Let me know how you are celebrating National Drink Wine Day. Okay, with that, I'm Katie Prudeman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.